This video series is going to replicate the steps used in a previous video series for APEX 18.1. The scenario is the same, a database and web application for an animal shelter. In this particular series, I will have Oracle XE 11.2 Apex 19.1, which is why I'm doing this new series, and SQL Developer 19.1. If you want to work along with the series, you can go to this website and download the scripts for the 18.1 series. I will follow the same steps other than making adjustments for Apex 19.1. In this video, we're going to log in to Apex as the developer. We created that account in the previous video. And we will use the SQL Workshop features to run scripts that will create actual database objects at the database level. So we'll do that. And once we have created those, we'll use the Object Browser feature to see what the database objects are that we have created. So I'm going to log into Apex as the developer. So I've entered in the workspace name, the developer name and password, and I select SQL Workshop. I can do that here or up here. I see the components of SQL Workshop. I'm going to work with the scripts. That means we're going to run several SQL commands at once. Before I upload and run that, let's take a quick look at the data model itself. So I've sketched something out. The data model for this animal shelter is that we have persons, persons who are employees but can also be volunteers or simply the people who bring animals in or take animals home. All of them fall under the category classification of persons, but we do have a separate table specifically for persons who are employees. We have a zip code table that tells us the city-state information for people in the persons table, whether they're employees, volunteers, or clients. Persons are involved in transactions. Transactions would be things such as bringing an animal to the shelter. Someone will bring an animal in. Someone that works at the shelter will receive that animal. So we have two relationships for transactions from the person's table. Another example would be somebody who comes to the shelter and adopts an animal. Somebody at the shelter will process that. So we have two relationships between persons and transactions. Notice that for those transactions, we have an animal, an animal that's coming into the shelter. In our case, we'll only work with dogs. And we have an animal that might be going home with somebody that has been adopted. While an animal is at the shelter, there will probably be activities, such as a veterinary exam, shots, treatment for any problems, illnesses. The animal might receive training. So those activities will be stored in activities. So back here in SQL Workshop under SQL Scripts, so we are going to upload a file. I will select Choose File. And I will go to where I unzipped the scripts that were provided and I demonstrated how to download those I think in video one. I'm looking for this particular script, create animal shelter tables. So I will double click on that and then click upload. Once that comes in, it has been uploaded, I then need to click run. So I'll select run. And I will select Run Now. Then I want to scroll down and I want to check which commands ran that had errors. You need to see a zero here. There were 66 statements and 66 were successful. How do I know that things were built? I can go to SQL Workshop again, Object Browser, and I can now see that I have a list of tables. 
If I select sequences, I will see a list of sequences. Triggers, I will see a list of triggers. These objects that have been created exist in the database itself, not just in Apex. Apex is simply giving us a view of those objects. If you want, you can start up SQL Developer and confirm that these objects are in the database. You need to have created a connection to the animal shelter schema. Notice that it does not have a space in the name. I can right click on that and go to properties and show how this is set up. Name is simply text, a label that you see over here that describes the schema. And then you have the username and then you have the password. So I'm going to click on connect. Then I see a SQL worksheet screen. But over here on the left, I can expand this after I've connected and see the list of tables that were just created. I can collapse that and I can go down to sequences just as we were looking at it in Apex. In the next video, we get started with our application.